So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new, hello, welcome. Sorry for my wakeless appearance, but as you can read from the title of today's video, we're going to be doing another mystery lace front wig haul from the brand Webster Wigs. So every so often, Webster Wigs does this little like mini mystery promotion where you literally get a random wig for a discounted price. I paid for all of these wigs with my own money and I bought the three pack option of long mystery lace front wigs, which retailed for 120 UK pounds, which makes it like 40 pound per wig. I have already done a mystery haul from them before, which I will link down below. And um, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so wig number one already looks right up my alley. As soon as I pulled this like platinum blonde beauty out of the bag, I knew no matter what style it was in from Webster Wigs, I was gonna love it. So um, let's get her out and see what she looks like. So this is what mystery wig number one looks like already. I am in love with her. I'm such a huge fan of like bleach blondes and like blondes in general and she is full on like platinum white blonde. Like she is giving me like Aurora Monroe storm realness. Like all Webster wigs she does come with a decent amount of lace. You get a clip on either side and a clip in the back. So um yeah I'm gonna cut the lace and pop her on my head and uh we'll see what wig number one looks like on. That rhymed bitch. So this is what wig number one looks like on. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I, for one, I'm in love with this. I'm fairly sure you guys could tell that anything like platinum or like blonde or anything is 100% um, up my alley. And this whole like vibe at the minute is like full on punk rock Aurora Monroe. And uh, I am so here for it. This wig is 100% unicorn vanity approved. And uh, you're definitely going to see it on my channel in the future since I am so feeling this fantasy right now. I think I'll even make this a thumbnail since it looks that, like, sickening. So this is what mystery wig number two looks like. She is a darker root into, like, a kind of purpley grey into a very light grey tipped lace front wig. And, again, I think this is very much my style. I would have probably purchased this myself at some point if it was on their website. So, um... Yeah, so far I think we're onto a winner with this wig too. She has the same kind of internal structure as the first wig, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna cut the lace and uh, pop her on my head, girl. So this is what wig number two looks like on. Let me know what you think of her in the comment section down below. I, for one, again, really quite like it. She gives me like a lot of like grit and like punky kind of grunge edge to it, and um, that's pretty much what this entire like outfit and makeup look is serving. So together, they are like a whole vibe. I do think she is like very thin on the ends of this wig. So um, that's not the greatest. Generally like the Lily style, which I think this is in since that's generally what I buy most of my Webster wigs like in the style of, is a lot fuller than this. But um, for 40 quids, I, 40 quids, 40 quid, I don't think you can really go that wrong. I think it's pretty and um, yeah, again, you're bound to see it in the future on my channel. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And let's go on to wig number three. So, damn. Um, wig number three is very much like the oddball kind of wild card weird wig of this mystery haul. Since, um, she's very different. She's this kind of, like, fun unicorn mix of purple, teal, and pink. But she does come with a really dark root, which... Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of like a dark root when you're playing with like pastels or like rainbow wigs. I think it makes it look a little off, but um, yeah, she's a little fun and different, I guess. She does have the same structure as all the other wigs, so um, yeah, I'm just going to cut the lace on her and pop her on my head and we'll see what this whole unicorn fantasy looks like on. Girl. And then finally, this is what wig number three looks like on. Let me know what you think of her in the comment section down below. I, for one, am still kind of undecided. I'm not really sure what I think of her. I think I like her a lot more now that she's on. And honestly, again, with this look, she is kind of serving me a whole, like, entire vibe. She's giving me, like, dark S&M kind of unicorn realness. And I'm actually kind of here for it with this whole, like, like ensemble together. Like, I actually... Don't hate it, but, um, yeah, safe to say I don't think I would ever pick up this wig for myself, but she kind of cute. I guess she's unicorn vanity approved, like, somewhat a little bit different and outside my usual comfort zone, like, box. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of her in the comment section down below. Girl. But yeah, that was my mystery wig haul from Webster Wigs. By far, wig number one was my favourite, and, um... Let's just say I've rearranged a couple of my Halloween videos to say 
a storm is coming. And um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.